Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel, Johnny Mac here, and this is how a barbecue sauce should taste. Sweet, spicy, a touch of smoke, and a bit of vinegar. Get ready, I'm gonna show you how to make a Kansas City style barbecue sauce. Buckle up, let's go. Let's begin, shall we? Grab that cast iron skillet, check it out, give it a kiss. Just got this thing and it rocks the house for barbecue sauces. Check out that enamel coating, ho ho ho, this is the bomb. Start off by dropping in half of a cup of ketchup, 128 grams, any ketchup will do. This recipe is darn near simple. It's quick and easy, you should have all of the items in your pantry at home. Next, tomato sauce, half of a cup, 128 grams, and it goes. Even though it's a simple recipe, the taste is absolutely phenomenal. Round up a third of a cup or 83 milliliters of red wine vinegar. If you make one homemade barbecue sauce at home this summer, this one should be it. Here you go, this is gonna be your hardest part, the unsulfured molasses. Why hard? Because this is sticky stuff. An eighth of a cup, 32 milliliters, get all of it in there. Here you go with a fully packed puck of dark brown sugar, a third of a cup, 63 grams. Now would be a perfect time to crank that burner up to medium heat. Stir that brown sugar into the sauce, and if you're not a part of the sauce and gravy community just quite yet, smash that subscribe button to learn new sauce and gravy making tips and techniques. That right there, everybody, is the bulk of the barbecue sauce. See, I told you it's fairly simple to do. Now it's just time to add some spices to kick up that flavor a little bit. Here you go, begin with an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder, and there's a list of these ingredients in the description section below. Another eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder just a pinch of chili powder. Next up to bat, a dash, just a pinch of allspice. Time for a quarter of a teaspoon of smoked paprika. You can also substitute with sweet paprika. For some heat, an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. See, and I told you, all these spices, they should be readily available in your spice rack at home. It's so easy to make. Drop in an eighth of a teaspoon of celery seed. Oh my goodness, this is a tough one. I hope you've got it at home. Black pepper, quarter of a teaspoon. And where there's pepper, inevitably there's salt. An eighth of a teaspoon. Clean up everything a little bit. And the final ingredient, one teaspoon of liquid smoke. I'm using hickory smoke flavor. You could use whatever flavor you like. If for some reason you don't have any of this at home, most grocery stores tend to have it. So drop by that grocery store, pick some up, you'll be ready to roll. So that's it, that's all there is to it. Doesn't look like much, but this right here, folks, is a world-class barbecue sauce that you can make in the comfort of your own home. Bring it to a simmer, and yes, it smells absolutely phenomenal right off the bat. Once it starts to simmer, turn the heat to low and let it reduce for about 20 minutes or until it becomes thick. Whatever you do, don't put a lid on it. You want this to become the consistency of, well, a barbecue sauce, so you want that liquid and the vapor to escape. You may be wondering, what does this barbecue sauce go on? And the answer to that is, heck, it goes on everything. Pork, ribs, any type of pork, chicken, throw it on fish, why not dip your nuggets in it? <laughs> that kind of sounded weird, didn't it? But it goes well on hamburgers, dip your french fries in it, put it on hot dogs, put it on ice cream, it works as a topping sauce. Don't knock it unless you try it. Congratulations, it's been 20 minutes, check it out. It's dark, it's rich, it has a deep brown reddish color, it's thick. This recipe makes one cup or 250 milliliters, so if you're cooking for a larger crowd, adjust the recipe accordingly. Last step before you let it cool, half of a tablespoon, seven grams, unsalted butter. Put it in, turn off the heat, and mix it all together. And another great thing about this sauce is it's very versatile. You could use it as a marinade, a glaze, a dipping sauce, a dessert topping sauce for ice cream. Like I said, try it. Or what do you like to put this on? Share with the community. Put it in the comments section below. After the butter is fully melted and mixed in, you can pour this into a glass jar or a bowl and let it cool off. Then you're ready to dive in or throw it in the fridge. Save it for later. Well, thanks for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. I hope that you found this recipe helpful. If you did, smash that like button. And I'd like to take a moment to thank each and every one of you Sauce and Gravy community members out there. Thank you for your support. Remember, it's just you, me, and the sauces. Keep whisking, y'all.